Scroll PDF Exporter allows you to generate PDF file exports from Confluence, taking the content directly from your pages and creating beautifully styled PDFs with your desired formatting and styling. After installing the app, you can export your content straight away by simply navigating to the Page Tools menu and selecting Export with Scroll PDF Exporter. Following this, an export dialog will appear, and the first thing you have to do here is to select an export template, which will control the formatting of the content you're exporting. The app comes bundled with three templates by default. The article template generates a simple export of your content, adding heading numbering and page breaks between different chapter headings. The documentation template builds upon this by adding a title page and an automatically generated table of contents to the export. And finally, the Confluence page layout template tries to match the formatting which you've set on your Confluence page, such as by disabling heading numbering and preserving multi-column page layouts. In this example, we'll use the documentation template. Following the selection of the template, we can then define the export scope. In this example, we'll export the entire page tree, but it remains possible to also export a single page or an entire space. Then, once we confirm export, the PDF will be generated. And here it is. As you can see, a title page has been added, complete with a document title, the space name and an export date. On the second page, we can see the table of contents, and this is generated from all the heading content we exported. And from here, we can easily navigate to the different sections where required. As you can see, all the headings are numbered accordingly and list styles, links and paragraph body text all remain preserved. The header and footer also contain document information such as chapter headings and page numbering. Further elements such as images, tables and confluence macros all display in the export. It also remains possible to create your own export templates with our app to ensure that your company's branding and corporate identity are represented in your created PDFs. You can either create a template globally or just in a specific space. In this example, we'll create a space template by navigating to the space settings and then selecting scroll PDF exporter. Here, we can then see the template list with the bundled templates already present. By selecting new, we can open the template editor and create a new export template. Within the template editor, we can start by giving the template a unique name. Then on the left hand side, you can see the four different areas where you can customize your export template the document sections, the style section, the template settings, and the export properties. The first section, the document section, allows us to configure the sections that make up our export template. As you can see, this template has a title page, a table of contents page, and a content page, which marks the start of where the Confluence content will be included from. Each page is configurable, either using the toolbar at the top of the editor or the sidebar on the right-hand side. The sections themselves are made up of editable content fields where additional text or placeholders can be added. For instance here, we can already see placeholders added to the title page. And we can choose to add more placeholders by simply selecting within the editable content section and choosing the plus icon from the toolbar. We can then choose from one of the variety of available placeholders we provide, such as the export user placeholder. Then, using the style dropdown in the toolbar, we can apply our specific styling to the placeholder. However, for this template, we'll simply add a background image for the title page from the option in the right sidebar. Then we can move on to the additional sections in our template, such as the table of contents page. Here we'll add a company logo in the footer. We'll then also repeat this process for the content section. Should you wish, you can also add or remove sections to your export template depending on your needs. Next up, we'll navigate to the Styles section. This is where we configure how the styles from Confluence will be exported when using our template. We can also define additional styles, such as for the table of contents which will be included when we use this template. On the left, you can see the different styles to choose from and we can then configure them using the options in the right sidebar. The central preview window will allow us to see how the generated content will look in an export. For this example, we'll change the font for the table of content level one style and also change the style for the leader that exists between the heading text and the page number. The same process can then be repeated for the other table of content level styles. Then within the paragraph style section we can configure how the paragraph body text from Confluence is formatted. Again, here we'll change the font type and we'll also repeat the same process for all the different heading levels. For this template, we can see that the heading levels do not have any numbering enabled, however this can easily be enabled in the style options.
We also have the option to add and configure additional styles that can be used in the document sections. Here we can see the document title and document subtitle styles which have been used with our placeholders on the title page. In this example we'll change the font type again and also alter the font colour to make the placeholder content on the title page stand out. Within the styles section there's an abundance of further styles that we can map to the styles in Confluence, such as for tables where we can control the output for header and body table cells respectively. In this example we'll simply change the background cell colour for the table header row. We can then also configure list styles and also the styling for a number of Confluence macros such as the info macro. Here we'll simply match the content to use the same font type that we've used for the other styles and also add a thicker top border. After this we can move to the next section, template settings, where amongst other things we can easily define the default export scope and also change the template page size. In the final section, the export properties, we have an array of further options to control the output of the generated PDF such as by initiating page breaks for every conference page, or ignoring specific conference macros, or even defining how the PDF file name should be structured. All this and more is possible, and once we're happy with our choices, we can simply save and close the template editor. The new template will then appear in the list, and when we navigate back to the same page that we exported earlier, we can then select the new export template in the export dialog. Prior to exporting we can also select show details and this will show the export properties that we already configured in the export template in case we want to make any last minute changes. Once we're happy we can then export. And here it is. As you can see our title page is now styled with the added background image and the placeholder content in the different font type and colour. Additionally, you can see the table of content page now uses the different font, has a blank leader between the heading text and the page number, plus we also have the company logo present in the footer. The subsequent content pages also contain the same company logo in the footer, and also have the heading level text without any numbering present. The further changes that we made, such as for the info macro and table content, are also evident in the generated export. And there we have it. Scroll PDF Exporter is available on the Elastian Marketplace and can be evaluated for free for 30 days. Plus, to gain further control over the look and feel of your exports, why not also install our free Scroll Exporter Extensions app, which provides a range of macros that can be added to your Confluence pages to further modify the export. We hope you enjoyed the video and if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us via help at k15t.com. Thanks for watching.